Hi friends, it's Amalia from the live, Trenton Library saying hello and good morning. As you can see, the library is open. Uh, we do have limited services and limited hours, so make sure you check our website before stopping by and seeing us. It's so good to be back and we missed all of you. And we also can offer um, other services that you might not be aware of, like we offer, also offer curbside, so we can bring things to your car too if you'd like. So <laughs> it's kind of exciting times. The other thing that I wanted to share with you is that we're having our summer reading program still. Um, this past couple, I guess about, it's been about a week now. <laughs> the theme of it is Imagine Your Story Time. Wait, not that. It's Imagine Your Story. I like saying story time, so it kind of pops out. Mm -hmm. At any rate, so imagine your story, and it's all about fairy tales and folk tales and mythology and just imagination. So I know last week we did a fractured fairy tale, and this week I thought we'd do a folk tale. The difference between a fairy tale and a folk tale is a fairy tale has magic. And a folk tale is kind of a story about people. So folk, people, <laughs> that's the clue. A fairy, fairies. I always get them mixed up anyway, but still, it's kind of fun to learn new things, I think, so I learn something new every day. <laughs> but first, let's do a song. One of my favorite songs I'd love to share with you is Bread and Butter, Marmalade and Jam. Let's say hello as, <laughs> and it goes like this. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as quietly as we can. Hello. Bread and butter. Marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as loudly as we can. Hello. Let's do another one. How about fast? Bread and butter. Marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as fast as we can. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> or how about slowly? Bread and butter. Marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as slowly as we can. <sighs> that was slow. And it's hard. Let's do silly and think about the opposite of silly. Okay, so bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as silly as we can. Hello. Okay, so the opposite of silly, I think, is serious, and serious is very dour, like that. Or maybe not, just serious. So bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as seriously as we can. Hello. I think that was fun. Another thing I think is fun is riddles. One of the cool things about folk tales is they often have riddles. One riddle I was thinking about today, it kind of goes with our story, is what is something so fragile that just saying its name breaks it? Silence. Which brings us to our story, which is a folk tale called Too Much Noise by Anne McGovern, illustrated by Sims Tayback. The thing about this is a folk tale that we're gonna find out if it's possible to have too much noise and what to do if you have too much noise. Let's begin. It's an older story with very pages that kind of tend to stick together. There's a teapot and leaves. I wonder if that has something to do with our story. A long time ago, there was an old man. His name was Peter, and he lived in an old, old house. Old, old houses tend to make a lot of noise. I wonder if that's the clue. The bed creaked, the floor squeaked. Outside, the wind blew the leaves through the trees. The leaves fell on the roof, swish, swish. The tea kettle whistled. Hiss, hiss, too noisy, said Peter. Peter went to see the wise man of the village. What can I do? Peter asked the wise man. My house makes too much noise. My bed creaks, my floor squeaks. The wind blows the leaves through the trees. The leaves fall on the roof, swish, swish. The tea kettle whistles, hiss, hiss. It's a lot of noise. I can help you, said the wise man. I know what you can do. What, said Peter. Get a cow, said the wise man. What good is a cow, said Peter. But Peter got a cow anyhow. 
The cow said, what does the cow say? Moo, moo. The bed creaked, the floor squeaked, the leaves on the roof swish, swish. The tea kettle whistled, hiss, hiss. Do you see his expression right there? <laughs> oh, my stars, what do you think he's thinking right now? Too noisy, said Peter. He went back to the wise man. Get a donkey, said the wise man. What good is a donkey, said Peter. But Peter got a donkey anyhow. The donkey said, ee-ah. The cow said, moo, moo. The bed creaked, the floor squeaked, the leaves fell on the roof, swish, swish. The tea kettle whistled, hiss, hiss. There's a lot of sounds in this book, so if you want to say the sounds along with me, I'd really love that. Still too noisy, said Peter, and he went back to the wise man. Good a sheep, said the wise man. What good is a sheep, said Peter. But Peter got a sheep anyhow. The sheep said, ba ba. The donkey said, hee ha, hee ha. The cow said, moo, moo. The bed creaked, the floor squeaked. The leaves fell on the roof, swish, swish. The tea kettle whistled, hiss, hiss. Oh my, look at that house. It is so full. Too noisy, said Peter. And he went back to the wise man. Get a hen, said the wise man. What good is a hen, said Peter. But Peter got a hen anyhow. The hen said, cluck, cluck. The sh sheep said, ba, ba. The donkey said, ee, ah. The cow said, moo, moo. The bed creaked, the floor squeaked, the leaves fell on the roof, swish, swish. The tea kettle whistled, hiss, hiss. Can you see the expression on the cow? I think that's a really good expression on the cow. What kind of feeling do you think the cow is feeling right now? Let's see, I'm zooming a little bit closer. <laughs> Is that something you might feel in a house with a sheep, a donkey, a chicken? A... Oh my gosh, what's next? What do you think? Too noisy, said Peter. And back he went to the wise man. Good a dog, said the wise man. And good a cat too. What good is a dog, said Peter, or a cat? But Peter got a dog and a cat anyhow. Well, you can imagine what happens next. The dog said, woof, woof. The cat said, meow, meow. The hen said, cluck, cluck. The sheep said, ba, ba. The donkey said, ee, ah. The cow said, moo, moo. The bed creaked, the floor squeaked, the leaves fell on the roof, swish, swish. The tea with, uh, whistled, hiss, hiss. Ah. Now, Peter was angry. He went to the wise man. I told you my home was too noisy. I told you my bed creaks, the floor squeaks, the leaves fall on the roof, swish, swish. The tea kettle whistles, hiss, hiss. He was really mad. You told me to get a cow. All day the cow says, moo, moo. You told me to get a donkey. And all day the donkey says, ee-aw. You told me to get a sheep. And all day the sheep says, ba, ba. You told me to get a hen. And all day the hen says, cluck, cluck. You told me to get a dog and a cat. All day the dog says, woof, woof. The cat says, meow, meow. I am going crazy, said Peter. I couldn't understand how he might feel that way. Oh, goodness. The wise men said, do what I tell you. Let the cow go. Let the donkey go. Let the sheep go. Let the hen go. Let the dog go. Let the cat go. To new homes. So, Peter let the cow go, he let the donkey go, he let the sheep go, he let the hen go, he let the dog go, he let the cat go. And out they went. Now, no cow said moo moo, no donkey said ee ah, no sheep said ba ba, 
No hen said cluck, cluck. No dog said woof, woof. No cat said meow, meow. Oh, look at the expression on his face. What do you think he's gonna say? The bed creaked. Ah, said Peter, what a quiet noise. The floor squeaked. Oh, what a quiet noise. Outside, the leaves fell on the roof, swish, swish. Inside, the tea kettle whistled, hiss, hiss. Ah, oh, said Peter, how quiet my house is. And that is when Peter got into bed and went to sleep and dreamed a very quiet dream. And that is the end. Thanks, friends, for joining me on our story time this morning. This book is one of my favorites, and I hope that you enjoyed it, too. Before we go, let's sing our Twinkle, Twinkle Little Star. And may I see your beautiful hands high in the sky. Thank you. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Thanks again, everybody, and hope to see you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.